Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We are almost finishing the first quarter of the year 2021 and I hope you're moving on well with your plans. That aside, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but here we are. So today we are going to talk about rumors. Oh, not spreading rumors, but to discuss some issues on rumors. I know at some point in your life, you've contributed to a rumor. Either you started the rumor or you are put into it by someone else. And later on, you realize that it was just a rumor. Okay, before we continue, let's know what a rumor is. A rumor is an information in circulation, unverified, relevant to a group of people or community, and addresses a lingering uncertainty. Why do people spread rumors? Some do that to boost their self-image. This happens so much in politics, whereby when uh, someone is doing so well, the opponent uh, comes with a, a story or a rumor that will uh, make the attitude of people, the opinion, people's opinion to change, uh, to shift to his or her side. Uh, okay, currently I'm reading this book, uh, A Promised Land by Barack Obama, and there is this, this chapter, he, talk, he talks about him running for the state senate post, and uh, he says that there is a point where he, the opinion polls on his side were going up. And uh, this scared the opponent, and the opponent started uh, telling rumors that uh, Obama, Barack Obama, was not from, uh, uh, was not a U.S. citizen, and that, as uh, as much as he claims that his father is from Kenya, he may not be from Kenya because his name was so much like that of Osama. You see, Obama and Osama. So there were a lot of speculations around this issue, and uh, finally they were clarified and. Uh, uh, but uh, after that, he had to work uh, twice as much to go back to where he was. And eventually he managed and uh, he won that particular post. Yeah. So people use uh, that, use uh, rumors to boost their, their self-image. Because if I bring someone down, then that means that I'm the one who is left standing. Even if you're working in groups, if we bring the other group down, then we'll, we are the ones who are going to remain standing. Yeah. Another important reason why people spread rumors is for social gains, especially being that social media has been monetized and uh, there are a lot of gains we can get from uh, maybe uh, the number of views, the number of likes. Uh, there is a lot of, okay, a lot of rumors going around because of that. Yeah. Uh, for example, if I know, if I want to, if I bring somebody who is famous into my channel or I say something negative or something that is unexpected about somebody who is uh, famous, then so many people will be curious to hear that, to know what I'm saying about that. And the moment, the moment they view, that is a gain for me because my watch times are going to increase. So that is something that people are taking advantage, but it is not good actually, it is not good. Uh, because uh, they don't know the impact they bring to these people's life. For example, somebody talking about maybe Sharon Mundia or maybe Uhuru Kenyatta's daughter. Yeah. So the moment people see that name, they'll be curious to see to 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 watch what is going on uh, in the life of that particular person. So people do that a lot for social gains. There are some conditions that makes rumors thrive. For example, in an environment where there's a lot of confusion and uncertainty, rumors always do well because people are thirsty for information. For example, last year when COVID-19 broke out, there were so many videos going around in YouTube, WhatsApp, and other social medias about COVID-19, but they were not giving out the correct information. So I remember uh, in a WhatsApp group one day, uh, I saw this video that really scared me. Uh, it was about... Uh, people like dropping dead in hospitals in Italy and uh, they were they were currently doing uh, mass burials so I was thinking like if that is Italy where the health system is very much okay now what if this virus gets into our our Kenya huh? what will happen yeah so it scared me yet it was not like the real thing but at that particular point I kind of believed it and I was so scared of this COVID-19 little did I know that that was just a rumor being spread uh, online Another thing that makes rumors to thrive is belief. When I know people will believe me, or if I know people believes, believe in that information that I want to spread, then I'll just do it. And it, actually it will fire up. Yeah, for example, 
uh, there are a lot of rumors on vaccines. Generally, Kenyans have been very skeptical about vaccines because there are a lot of rumors that are, have been spread on, uh, on vaccines and uh, it, they have come to believe that the vaccines are not meant for, for the good. Like they are there to like eliminate uh, the, the blacks or uh, maybe to reduce fertility in the young kids or yeah so many uh, rumors that now we've come to even believe them now when the covid-19 vaccine came a lot of rumors uh, went around on it and there are so many rumors again about it and the, the africans are saying like uh, it is being used by the whites to reduce the the, the population the black population and uh, aside from that there are also some rumors that the, the vaccine is killing so many people in other countries where they have started vaccinating. Uh, so there are a lot of rumors spreading because of the, okay, the, people, the, the people who are uh, starting these rumors, they know that people will believe because they, there's, there's, they've always been fear about this. Now, what are some of the impacts of rumors, of spreading rumors? One, it causes panic. So you, uh, you remember the story I told you about uh, when COVID-19 uh, broke out and uh, people were so like scared because of what they were seeing in social media. So rumors sometimes causes panic. This is evident in the time of uh, when there were, the COVID-19 pandemic broke out and uh, people were panicking because of the information that was going around uh, in social media. People started panicking and some people were even stocking a lot of food in their houses, knowing that they, there is going to reach a time when there will be no food at all, no production at all, because the companies were closing down. So that brought a lot of panic. And you can find uh, that some people maybe got injured during that time because people were scrambling for things. So it always brings that, uh, that panic. Uh, and that is one of the, uh, the reasons we should avoid uh, rumors, especially in when uh, there's a crisis, uh, especially this time of pandemic. We should avoid such rumors because they affect other people's lives and it affects negatively. Another impact of uh, a rumor is a reduction in performance. This majorly happens to organizations for example, uh, this, okay, just uh, I think a week ago uh, in a WhatsApp group, there was this video on dew mineral water. Uh, I think it is produced in South Africa. Uh, sorry, in Nigeria, I'm not so sure about that. But there was this rumor that the water had killed, there was poisoners and had killed uh, like 180 people. And uh, if at all you, 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 are nini, you are going to buy water, you should not go nini, buy that one. And you should also share this information to warn other people not to buy that, kind, that water. Then later on, I think after two days, I think yesterday morning, I saw another text on a different WhatsApp group telling us that that information going around uh, uh, about dew mineral water is not true. And uh, if at all it was true, then uh, it could be maybe in the news because uh, death of 180 people is not something to joke around with. Yeah. So even, even if that was clarified, I still, if somebody brings, okay, now, if somebody brings for me that dew mineral water and another mineral water, however fake it is, I won't choose the deal. I'll choose the other one. Yeah. Because already I have something in my mind that that information might be true. And for sure, you can imagine the damage it has caused if it is not true. Because so many people are like me. Yeah. They now fear get, uh, drinking that water. And until they, they have like a, an evidence or uh, they see somebody drinking it, that is when they'll believe in that water again. So you can imagine the kind of uh, nini, the kind of reduction it has br it has brought to the company. Yeah. Uh, now, if the company was selling uh, so many bottles, now the the, the, the purchases has nini, definitely have gone down. Yeah. So sometimes some rumors may bring out reduction in performance. Yeah. Another impact that rumor brings is a reduction in uh, self-esteem. Uh, if people started, start saying things about you that are not true, you begin to doubt yourself and uh, you'll walk with your head low. Especially this happens to girls because what people say sometimes affects us yeah, a lot. 
it is uh, uh, we are kind of different from the the male because uh, her men are not usually much affected but by what people say but for us ladies we are always affected by what people say not that much because uh, we are different too uh, there are those who are much affected by, by by what people say and there's there are those who kind of don't care yeah uh, or those who have, have been made that way by experience. For example, let me take uh, the example of my friend uh, Italy, who I told you. My friend uh, Italy, who I told you her story. Yeah, because she had experienced that, maybe now if somebody says something about her or start, starts uh, spreading rumors about her she won't take it seriously and it won't get into her because she had dealt with such a situation before and she won't go through that hell of work she went through previously another impact of a rumor it may, is that it makes you work twice as hard uh, to get back to where you were so rumors can also affect uh, relationships yeah because uh, it breaks that trust uh, and uh, it breaks the relationship that you have with uh, with that person who spreads a rumor about you so most of the time you find out that if someone that was so close to me spreads a rumor about me or doesn't believe in me then uh, I'll, I won't trust that person again because if you are a close friend of mine and you don't believe me you believe in what people say then definitely you are not my person you don't care about me because i i expect you if you hear a rumor about me that i'll be the first person you approach you ask this and you confirm with whether this information is true or false but if you don't do that if I get to hear this from another person, then definitely that uh, relationship will break. I won't trust you with like uh, any other thing. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the end. And I hope you've gained something. Please subscribe if you've never subscribed. You are also free to share your comment on this video. Whether positive or negative, I'll take them positively.